Hello everyone, thanks for joining. I was able to spend a couple hours, get this uh, Arvin 402A recapped and all the uh, out of tolerance resistors replaced as well. I think I ended up replacing every capacitor with the exception of one and kept two of the original uh, resistors. I did take time also to measure the uh, voltage uh, pre and post and here's just some of my documentation for the uh, readings prior to the uh, recapping and replacing the out of tolerance resistors. I tell you these little miniature sets they offer some unique challenges. The area that you have to work in to do the recapping and replace resistors is just crazy tight and uh, it's not one of my favorites and it looks like it would be quick and easy but uh, you know it, it took uh, quite some time here to get this done. Anyway you can see I mounted the electrolytics underneath. I did forego stuffing a new uh, electrolytics in the uh, old paper can and elected just to leave it on top and again just uh, create new connection points using a uh, terminal strip underneath. Something else I wanted to make note of uh, on the prior videos, so I think we talked about that output transformer being bad. The actual output transformer is underneath the chassis and that was actually a choke that's mounted to the speaker itself. Um, I didn't even check close enough to see if um, you know the other leads were coming out going to the speaker. It just looked from that position that it was an output transformer. But uh, what you see pictured here is the output transformer underneath. It checks fine. And again, the on the top of the speaker itself, what's mounted there is a choke just to uh, better clean up the uh, DC voltage there on the B plus side. Here's a better look at that electrolytic capacitor can. It was on top. Again, it was a three section uh, electrolytic housing uh, two 20 microfarad and one 10 microfarad capacitor. You may have noticed that I replaced the original power resistor that was a dropping line voltage resistor uh, for the filaments. And you can see it reads around 70 ohms and I replaced it with a 75 ohm 5 watt resistor for now. And again, the original connection point for that resistor was uh, between uh, pins 5 and 7 on the 35Z5. So it was connected between the heater and the plate, and the plate actually is the uh, input line voltage. So again, it was used just to drop the, uh, the voltage for the filaments of the tubes. If you add up the uh, four tubes, it comes up to about 110 volts that I need to... Um, power the radio up with and since we're modern day power at 121 you can just do the voltage drop calculation by taking the 121 minus the 110 gives you 11 volts we know that the particular tubes in here are 0.15 amps or 155 milliamps so you can just do the uh, the calculation you take the voltage drop which is 11 volts, divide that by 0.15 and it gives you 73 ohms and again I stuck a 75 ohm resistor in. Now to calculate the wattage, uh, two different ways. In this case I just used the voltage drop which was 11 volts. Multiply that by 0.15 or 150 milliamps and again it comes out to 1.65 watts. You need a safety factor, I use 3, it takes me to 4.95 and I'll probably still increase that uh, power resistor up to maybe a 10 or 25 watt uh, just so it does a better job with the heat dissipation under this little tight uh, chassis. Uh, you can also uh, calculate the uh, wattage itself by uh, taking the, uh, the current times itself which would be 0.15 times 1.5 which would be square times the uh, resistance of 73 ohms and you end up at the uh, same amount of uh, wattage for the resistor. I also ordered a uh, 12 AV6 tube. It's the uh, replacement. It came out in 1948 for the 12 AT6. When it gets here I'm going to plug it in and give it a test drive and then uh, double check all the voltages. I'm going to spend a little bit of time on some of the rust on the uh, chassis itself and then we'll uh, prep that cabinet uh, down the road. So uh, again, thanks for watching uh, this little uh, restoration series on this uh, Arvin 402A from uh, 1940. Appreciate it, and thanks again for all my new subscribers out there as well.